Hello, fabulous goddesses and gods. How y'all doing? No, seriously. How you doing? Because I'm about to let you know how I'm doing. Because, mm -hmm. honey child, it took me a minute to do this crystal of the day today because I was in a funk. I woke up. Like yesterday, I was kind of like towards the end of the day in a funk. And today, you know, yeah, last night. Yeah, yeah, yesterday, last night, I was in a funk. This morning, I woke up like, uh, I'm tired. How many of you guys are tired? I just, I'm tired. I need a vacation. I need a day off, days off, like, Whew. I, yes, I have the sage going right now. Like, you know, keep it rolling. <laughs> keep it rolling. And I was like, I cannot do crystal of the day until I'm in a place. I meditated for like 45 minutes doing root chakra. You know, I was just like, I got to shake this shit off me, you know, and I'm just burnt out. How many of you all are burnt out? Okay, I feel you. I got my clear cords on because I was like, I need the bot negativity. I got my cellulite on. So cellulite's really great when you're doing readings or anything. And I have my rose cords on. Come on, rose cords. Because I just want to keep loving on myself right now. <laughs> I've been, I am feeling this like energy in this like, ugh. So, you know, there's things that I need to put in place. And not only that, it's about being trans transparent. You know, I'm not always so happy and bubbly all the time. Shit, I be going through too, baby. So, um, I just wanted to share that with you guys because it's about being real. You know, I just, it took me a minute to do this so I could at least be in a good place to be able to um, serve you all and buy Crystal of the Day. And guess what? Today is Friday, and it's my one-month anniversary of Crystal of the Day to you guys. Consistently on YouTube. <laughs> I've been doing Crystal of the Day for a couple years now. It actually started in my um, IG stories, and I didn't get all glamorous and do all this lights and a backdrop and everything. Literally, I would roll out of bed with my troll doll crazy hair, I didn't care what, no makeup, it didn't matter. Like, I was just like, hey, crystal of the day. And I would literally do it in bed. Once I woke up my eyes and I was done with, like, my goddess time, I'd be like, okay, and just do the do. And then I would post the, the description for you guys or the message. Now, I decided, let me be consistent on YouTube. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, please, and thank you. Um, and I'm excited because I've been wanting to be a YouTuber for a while now, and it was about being consistent. Can I stay consistent with doing this? And uh, I thought maybe I was gonna do, you know, Crystal of the Week, you know, once a week, and I really was vibing off my Crystal of the Day. I was already doing it consistently in my story, so I said, you know what? Let's now upload it on YouTube, and let's take it to the next level and have a little, you know, have fun with it, you know, you know. So I'm really excited. One month anniversary on YouTube for Crystal of the Day. Hey. So we're going to get our message on now because you know it's Crystal of the Day time. I know I felt like I was like repeating myself type of deal, but, you know, we have to keep doing that. Crystal of the Day time. really nice every time when I get in front of you guys on this camera and do this I actually feel better <sighs> Ooh, that was good I needed to let that out and share with you guys that I was in a funk and you know I'm gonna continue to sit in this and I've been asking myself you know certain questions like what's going on and it's the uncertainty you know it gives me anxiety you know not knowing what's about to happen next. And I have some things happening and I'm just, it's about being patient. It's about allowing it to flow and go and, you know, not allowing that uncertainty to get to you. So that's what I've been dealing with y'all. 
But okay, enough about me. It's about us and it's about you. Let's get your message, okay? Okay. Thank you, Most High. Thank you for clearing and cleansing the energy. Thank you for using me as a vessel, Father God. Oh, yes. What is our message for today, Most High? Thank you. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. What is our message? Oh. Oh, sugar snaps. Learning. Mm. Come on, learning. Oh, this is going to be good. Let's dive a little deeper, shall we? Okay, learning. This is fluoride. Fluoride, uh, the colors are like a purple, green, yellowish color. I have fluoride in the green and the purple. It kind of looks kind of rainbowy. It's really pretty. Um, and this hits all your chakras. Fluorite is one of the most effective crystals to awaken new knowledge and enhance learning abilities. It stimulates the brain to retain and restore information, and it is a great crystal con to connect with while you're studying. If you guys are in school, if you guys are learning a new technique, if you're just tapping in deeper into your, your skill, your knowledge, fluoride is what, where it's at. This powerful medicine also assists in healing the memory, restoring it to its natural state. Crystal meaning. <laughs> Allows you to open to new knowledge and stimulates learning. Stimulates the mental body and enhances memory and, and decision making. Supports you to gain a clear perspective when experiencing emotional confusion. Balances the mind and mental body. Let's dive even deeper. You have attracted this card today as a sign that you are entering into a powerful time of learning. The fluoride are here working closely with you as you become aware and open to new experiences and opportunities. The most powerful way of learning is through your own life experience. Ain't that the truth? Hmm. You are being encouraged at this time to look within and bring forth the wisdom that you have learned in life so far. This card may also be showing you that a situation you are currently experiencing is bringing great lessons and learning into your life. Be open to receive the gifts from the divas of fluoride as you integrate this deep wisdom into your life. If you have been considering studying or pursuing something that you love and inspires you, the timing is right. Whatever your situation, know that this is a powerful time of learning and growth that will assist you greatly as you move forward. Hmm. Come on, y'all. What you're trying to study? What have you been putting off that you've been wanting to study? What is that next level of mastery that you're getting into? Oh, this was great. Come on, fluoride, drip, drip. I'm looking to go on vacation now. And I'm trying to decide if today is going to be the last day for crystal of the day while I take a few days off. But then I'm like, I don't want to because it's our first month on YouTube and I don't want to take a break. And uh, I'm like, but in my vacation studying, I would like to study more on goddesses. So I'm really excited to tap in more into the goddess power and knowing our goddesses. And it's just, I'm, I've, I've been wanting to do this. I've been wanting to study. I have books and I'm going to take some time off and do that. And I would like to suggest you all to do the same. Take some time off on your vacation and find something to study, to learn and enjoy that you've been putting off or read that great book that you've been putting off to. Let's take that time as we close out for the holiday soon, you know, thinking about the vacations and what we're gonna be doing, you know, make sure you're doing something that you absolutely would love to do that you've been putting off. You deserve it. Invest in yourself. All right, y'all, many blessings, and I'll see you all probably Monday because knowing myself, 
I'm still gonna do this because I love this and I don't know how to take a vacation sometimes. <laughs> All right, later.